Packers, have you decided who is going first? Yeah, I'm gonna go first. Mike's going first, seven joke seat for the last time tonight. Three, two, one! Oh yeah, what's up everybody? It's great to be here tonight roasting post-op Ugly Betty. Uh, if you guys don't know, this is Gabe Alviso. He's a Mexican hipster, which is kind of like if MS-13 had an intramural Quidditch team. Dude, you know he's white because he used the word Quidditch. <laughs> Dude. I think it's so cool that Kyle Rittenhouse started dressing like a Forever 21 mannequin. <laughs> I mean, dude, Mike looks like if Kyle Rittenhouse only shot finger guns. <laughs> you look like you listen to mariachi music, but only on vinyl. I do. All right. uh, Gabe is a graffiti artist, and he leaves his tag all over the place. Actually, some of the only places you can't find his name are on a lease, a diploma, and an American birth certificate. Yo, you can't find my name there, but you can't find a clit, so whatever. <laughs> dude, Mike looks like every time he's about to eat pussy, he looks in the mirror and he goes, all right, dude, let's get it right this time. <laughs> it's all about the technique. It's all about the technique. Uh, the Gabe, technique is doing it right, dude. Uh, mm. You don't get a lot of practice. Gabe, uh, Gabe works in a tattoo parlor, but he's always getting in trouble for trying to fondle the clients. Gabe, they're coming in for stick and poke, not lick and stroke. Dude, Mike has a, a tattoo on his lower back that says, enter at your own risk. So. It's treacherous. Yeah. Dude, Mike, uh, Mike doesn't only do stand up, he's actually a triple threat to women, children, and Puerto Ricans. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I forgot, which one of the kids on Rocket Power were you? I can't remember. Uh, Gabe, uh, Gabe is delusional. He thinks that he looks like Jim Morrison. Hey, Gabe, uh, the band is called The Doors, not the El Salvadors. Dude, women hate Mike so much that his favorite porn is Two Girls, One Cup. <laughs> Finally, he gets to watch women shit on something that isn't his personality. It's good, I do have a shitty personality. Uh, Gabe does a ton of stand-up, but you guys probably recognize him from his sketches. Uh, you might have seen them posted on the bulletin board at the police department. Snitch. <laughs> Yo, uh, if you couldn't tell from his dumb shirt, he's Italian. Uh, <laughs> Dude, Mike is Italian and his girlfriend is black, so when he brought her home for the holidays, his parents were pissed that Mike was home for the holidays. <laughs> oh, man. That's a good one. That's, uh, that's a really good one, man. You, uh, you know, uh, before this battle, a bunch of the other comics told me, hey, Mike, go easy on Gabe, all right? Tread lightly, because he's got a lot of essays. No. Sorry, essays are sexual assaults. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe you wrote that and then said it. <laughs> I did. You should, you should learn how to write. It would be nice for once. And read. That would be great. No. He was at a coffee shop and he was like, here's a good one. I was. <laughs> Fucking gay. Oh my God. Shut the fuck up. You look like you sprinkled tahini on your heroin spoon before you cook it. Yeah, because I know how to use spices, dude. Yo, yo, Mike thinks that yoga is a form of self defense. I'm gonna last one. Last joke. All right, great. Uh, <laughs> So before we did this battle, I asked Gabe if I could sit down and interview him. And from that interview, I learned two really important things. <laughs> One, Gabe loves hot sauce. And two, his uncle fucked him. Uh, <laughs> but, what I, but what I still really want to know is, Gabe, what do you like more? Top of Tio or getting topped by your Tio? <laughs> Let's 
let's wrap it up. Mike has to go home and practice his close-up magic. So. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Your uncle pulled a rabbit out of your ass. <laughs> wow. Give it up for that, everybody. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Wow. You guys are weird. I mean, you loved it when the Mexican was bullying this white guy. But you loved it when the white guy talked about the Mexican getting raped badly as a child. One more time for these two psychopaths. This is awesome map. Let's start off with Quaza. What did you think? Wow, this is it is so much fun <laughs> to see two good comics having fun up there on stage just two hours after Gabe taught Mike how to use the espresso machine. <laughs> Uh, I, th this was, this was a fun, like, Gabe did a lot of his signature just toying around shit, but he saved the best for last, and that Tapatio joke, yeah. Yeah. and that, that was just magic. Uh, I, I gotta go with Mike on this. Mike gets one vote. Oh, well, 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 if it ain't the two most fuckable corpses on the Gaza Strip. Hi. <laughs> You guys, I, you guys look good. Um, <laughs> We're built like corpse. I, I just feel bad for Gabe's uncle. That's all. I want to say. Um, honestly, that was that was the best battle of the night. How about another round of applause for these two? Um, Gabe, you, you were killing it up top. I thought there's no way Nick could come back from it. At the end, you, you had some of the strongest jokes of the night. It, His name's it might have been, wait, what? His name's Mike. You Mike. Know. That's okay, just any generic fucking white guy name will work. That's okay. Right. Well, I gotta tell you, Greg, that Tapatia joke was unbelievable. Um, I, I think it might have been a little too close to call. I want one more joke. for the end of the battle. These are gonna be the, like, the stress. We need one joke. We're gonna do one more joke. Hey, my uncle's in the back. Come up here. Bring the to you. One more joke, Mike, you're first. Okay. Uh, Gabe drives a low rider, uh, not because he's Mexican, because it's the only car that can stop his family members from stealing his catalytic converter. <laughs> Because he's Mexican. Yo, uh, M Mike is a huge faggot. <laughs> hey, he can say that he was molested as a child. He can say it, he's gay now because of that. So, oh, uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I mean, I was already kind of leaning this way. That that final joke just pushed it over the edge. I give it to Chad. Okay. <laughs> give it up for Bob. He gets a vote. Thank you. Uh, um, as a white guy, that was uh, mostly sad. Um, in the beginning, you're wearing a, like a, this shirt. I just. It's it's like that the saddest scene from Interstellar. Um, it's, it's it just, looks like a Rorschach fucked a cow. Yeah. Yeah, and that no, and that's that's the other part is that you you just you think you're so clever. Um, that, that I I really hate that you killed at the end. Um, but no, Gabe, Gabe. Gabe. Killing the whole time, uh, just I, I think I feel like everyone. You you had the Tapatio joke in there, the only hot sauce you've ever heard of, um, and you're just like you know everyone just remembers that at the end. But Gabe was killing the whole time, so I'm going Gabe. Dude. Gabe gets a vote. Yes. Out of Tyler's very real hatred of Mike. Um, 
Uh, other mic. What did you well, think? He said tapatio because it worked as a, you know, the, the molesting joke. Um, <laughs> Wait, did you think that someone didn't get it? No, he, oh, he was, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, this was, I mean, the Kyle Rittenhouse stuff was so funny. Remember, remember the, the Kyle Rittenhouse stuff? I thought Gabe had him in the beginning, but then I thought Mike, uh, the Tapatio joke, and then the ending, the ending joke. So this is this is tough, but uh, I'll, yeah, this lady's telling you to vote for Gabe, but she's because she she's the voice kinda, of reason tonight. <laughs> she seems kind of she seems kind of angry about. It. I mean, this is this is really hard, but Thank I'll taking a long time. Give it to. I'll give it to Mike. Mike gets it. Mike wins it. Give it up for Mike. Race relations are mended, but I do want Fenoya's final thoughts here. Um, it's nice to see Andy Richter versus Guillermo up there. <laughs> uh, your shirt reminds me of the AHA video when it's all it takes place in a notebook that a fucking Icelandic hey, dork wrote. Oh, yeah, that's the song. I said it. You didn't have to sing it. That's why I'm voting for uh, Gabe. Gabe gets yeah. two. Give it up for these two headliners, man. Thank you so much Evan for Evan Joe, who joins us. Roast Battle Whoa. League. Let's talk some shit, Evan. Let's talk about it. You got a fucking envelope from us. Do they even print money in, in Colorado, or do they just give you a bag of weed at the end of the show? It's a bag of weed. It's a bag of mushrooms. It's uh, it's ketamine. If you're really it's good, fentanyl. if you're really good, it's 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 mushrooms. Yeah. If you're really if you bad, know. it's laced heroin. So. If, it's, if it's bad, it's it's skunk weed laced with them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. A Ev Evan, you're one of the standouts in Denver with Rose Battle Chicago. So we found you Thank through the you. league. Yeah. Uh, Chicago fucking shit up, but you have the same situation like us. What do you think? Let's talk some shit league. Let's talk some Rose Battle League shit well, right now. The, I mean, this is gonna be a nice thing to say, but I feel like. Denver, we we learned from Chicago. Yeah. Like we literally we stole everything you guys do. We just do it at a shittier bar. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, you got you guys set an amazing example for us. We try to be more like you, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, to come here and fucking see you guys rock it out was. I really special, appreciate so. that you're growing a wig for charity while you're also here. We're gonna yeah. we're almost gonna open a door. But uh, Evan Joe, uh, some some. You wanna buy it? No. <laughs> hey dude, I'll sell this yeah, thing. Yeah. Don't worry. There's a drag queen out there that wants uh, all what you got, buddy. Yeah, dude. Uh, but no, asking about it. So you have to see it from a different perspective. Kind of fun yeah. though, right? Yeah. Even if you were in the crowd, but then you're also performing the show. You killed it. Totally. Oh, thank that. you. That was awesome. Awesome. Yeah, this is uh, the third city I've seen a roast battle in, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's so awesome to see the different ways everybody. Let me do ask it. you a real question. Seven here. jokes is great. Seven jokes. Seven jokes. How many is jokes crazy. do you guys do? Either three or five. So we have Jeff Ross. I've told this story before. Yeah. We have Jeff Ross coming for the show, and this is the show that like put our YouTube map. Uh, yeah. You put on the YouTube map, like mm -hmm. really, really broke us in. Yeah. And we found out Jeff was doing the show like a week in advance, and we had wow. to move the show around and do all these uh -huh. things, but we couldn't advertise it. But yeah, everybody yeah, kind of found that. out, and everybody kind of bought tickets. Yeah. And some people found out the day of and bought a bunch of tickets. Yeah. And he gets there, and we don't want him to get the wrong idea of what our show is. So he right. comes in, and we want to make sure he knows everything, and he's judging the show. And he goes, how many jokes do you? This is the Roast Master General, yeah. the pinnacle player right. of this subgenre of comedy. And he goes, how many jokes do you do? And I tell him, we do seven. And he just turned and he goes, you guys are fucking animals. Yeah. That's and I, and I, was, I was like, why? It was like, it was four. So for us, our rookie battles are five. Yeah. And our, our other battles are seven. Right. And we kind of like that just for the sake of Justin. Here's the video master. We're, yeah. You want to talk about the MVP? It's the man you, no one sees on camera. It's this fucking guy right here. Yeah. It's the director. He's Absolutely. Just, he is the Steven Spielberg of roast battle wow. comedy. I'm going to put that out there right now. I'm going to put that right out there right now. All right. All right. Put the fucking, yeah. put the one hitter down, Denver. Yeah. Get yourself a fucking film student with a good deal. SLR and let's grow here. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, I, I mean that in the right way. Uh, but it, it's just nice that we see other people from other cities coming through. You were absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank I'll you. ask you this. Who do you want to battle the next time you come to Chicago? Call them out. Ooh, the next time I come to Chicago. I've been watching the clips. Maybe somebody you want a piece of. I want to kill the mayor. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Take that. Oh. oh, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't. No. I didn't know the mayor was black. What? No. Is the governor white? Yes. I want to kill the governor. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. 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 Yeah. Plug your socials, buddy. Uh, at, at Evan Joe. A-T Evan Joe on Instagram. Evan, you have a good time. All right? Yeah. All right? Yeah. I know you'll smoke our weed and you'll think it's less than. Uh, Mike, you want to get in here for a minute? 
we wrap it up with you. I would find Gabe. Uh, Mike, you had your main event sure. tonight. You had your Mike. You had your main event tonight with Gabe Elviso. What do you think of it tonight? Uh, man, that was a fucking bloodbath. That yeah. was really rough. I knew that Gabe is like a pro, a consummate professional. You guys told me last time you got to come back and battle somebody who really knows what the fuck they're doing. And I knew that Gabe was just the guy. Yep. Uh, he literally texted me earlier today and was like, I've written no jokes. So he came up with most of all that shit on the spot. Uh, Justin, that sounds like a Gabe Elviso deal, right? Am I correct? Am I correct about that? Yeah. That is a Gabe Elviso classic. But, uh, but also, it's also the thing that makes him so excited. Oh, yeah. So exciting. I, I want to try and grab my oh, We can't find him. How you doing, Stephanie? How are you? Stephanie, you want to hop in here for a minute? Like She's got to talk people, uh, talk business. But yeah, fucking great experience. I can't wait to come back and do another one. I think I'm doing one on October 7th against Courtney Zelazny. That's going to be fun. And then doing Tweety one. Tweety Bird herself. Yeah. yeah. Doing one at the Comedy Store in December, and I'm looking forward you to it. You doing one? Oh, there we go. We get you over in LA. That's good, man. Pat thank Barker, thank you. Thank you, thank you for having me, buddy. If they want to follow you, where do they go, buddy? Uh, Mike M. Comedy on Instagram. So go All check right. that out. Thank you, buddy.